Hi, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy, and this is the second video in our series on programming in Novastar Smart. Today we're going to do part two, sender management and hot backup. First part in sender management, we're going to cover deleting senders and adding new senders, including adding multiple senders and selecting the quantity and type of sender we want to use. So here's our smart offline edit screen from yesterday. And the sender management pane is the left hand side of the screen. So we'll zoom in on that a little bit. And we're going to split this into two halves, the top half and the bottom. So the very top, you have the current sender. Uh, this shows the control port it's attached to. You have the output ports of the sender. Uh, one little note. This little thumbtack icon up here is to pin this so that the pane doesn't automatically, the center management pane doesn't collapse and expand as you go back and forth working on cabinets to working on senders. So it's always useful to just pin it so it doesn't collapse. The other part of the center management pane is down the bottom. You have the add and delete icons. This is magnified greatly. So you have a plus button for adding senders, and you have the trash can, obviously, for deleting senders. So let's go ahead into the smart. Now here's actual, this is smart running offline. We're going to select our project from yesterday, training one. And we just click it once, and it opens. So here's our sender from yesterday, which is a 4K with 16 cabinets. Uh, let me show you the thumbtack uh, functionality. So if I undo that, if I work on cabinets, it collapses, and then I have to open up the pane to select another port. And then when I select something over here, it collapses, and then I have to go. And so that's the behavior with the thumbtack unclicked. Click the thumbtack so it's straight up and down. And now as I select a port and then I go select a cabinet, nothing happens. It doesn't move on us, which is exactly the behavior we want. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is I'm going to delete this sender because I want two R5s. So as I hover over the 4K, I can either delete it from here or I can delete it from the garbage can down the bottom. Either one does the same thing. Do you want to delete? Yes. No more senders. So now I want to add two R5s. To do that, click the plus icon. It opens up the submenu, and you get to select from all of the currently functioning senders that Smart talks to. It's a scroll down all the way to uh, up to and including the new Nova Pro UHD Junior. So all of these senders are available. I want the venerable R5, my favorite sender for the rental staging industry. So I click on the R5, I double click in the number column, and I type number 2, and then hit the enter key. I haven't added any, I've just changed the quantity I want to add to 2. Now I click OK, or click the add button, and it says I'm going to add on port A1, that's the control port, R5s, and I'm going to add two of them, I click OK. And now I have two R5s in my project. So at this point, I'm going to go up here into the project page, and I'm going to click Save. So I want to save this point in our project, just in case I shut down the computer, I close the project, I have them saved. Next up, we're going to deal with redundancy, or hot backup. So here is the, again, the main smart edit screen. And the hot backup icon is up here in the top row under the edit tab. When you click on hot backup, it opens up a submenu, which has all of the backup functions that in Nova LCT are under the sender tab. So let's go ahead and work on hot backup. So again, click the Edit tab. There's Hot Backup. This opens up a submenu. 
in the sub menu there is a default animation that goes through all of the different options for doing hot backup all the different port combinations so the first step is and this is just while the animation is running um, let's grab a sender from the left hand column and drop it into the workspace on the right after you have the sender in you can there's a one button click in the top and that takes half of the ports on your sender, the bottom half, the lowest numbers, and makes them masters, and then makes the top half, the, the higher numbers, uh, your backups. And it's per sender, so it automatically configures itself based on the number of ports on your sender. Second option, you can selectively make a port a backup for a specific other port. So in this case, it's port eight, is becoming the backup for port 9 on the same sender. The next variation, how to make one a primary and one a backup sender. This is the simplest operation in SMART. It's far superior to doing this in LCT. You literally drag the icon for sender 2 on top of sender 1, which will become your main, and it's a port for port main backup relationship. Uh, another option for hot backup is to take a port from one sender and make it a backup for a port on a different sender. So this is selectively this port is going to be a backup for that port. So here we have port 8 on sender 1 is a backup for port 9 on sender 2. Lastly, you can switch the sender mode between master slave or main backup just by clicking on the right hand side of the icon for the sender. And you see all of the port icons change from mains to backups when you do that. So now we're going to do close that and now we're actually in the operational menu. I'm going to make this window slightly larger so we can easier to see. I'm going to click on sender number one. So R5-1, click over here in the workspace, click again. R5-2, click. Over in the workspace, click again. It's in the workspace. And again, we could take, click this button. This will make one through four the master and five through eight the slave or the backup. Unclick it. I can do individual ports. Again, that will undo it. I could make each port main to backup by dragging them individually but the easier way I'm going to take center number two is going to become the backup I'm going to drop it on top of sender one and we're done that's all eight ports here are mains all eight ports on sender two are backups the only thing you have to do at this point click the save button sure you want to save yes and because I have done programming for years, click save again. It's all saved. As you see over here on the left, the icons for sender two have already changed to backups. I click on the cancel icon. If I look at sender one, the ports are all mains. Sender two, the ports are backups and you can't highlight them to select them. So I can select two, three, and four on my main one. On my backup, nope, can't select them at all. So you can't accidentally grab the wrong port. So that's doing primary and backup senders in SMART. It's uh, very quick, very easy, and you could do that across multiple senders. In this case, we're just using two R5s. Now that we've finished that step, we go back to the project menu we click save so I've just saved the project um, further on we're going to look at the documentation that smart generates for you which includes a redundancy table it shows you which senders are backups and which ports are backups for which primary ports uh, in the next in this series we're going to cover cabinet management how to import our CFGX files how to create custom cabinets and add some extra information for both managing your cabinet files and also managing your paperwork. 
Again, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing you on our next video.